Hello, time to see you. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a background color in InDesign. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, I've created a new document in InDesign and I have created this text right here and created a blue background color as you can see right here. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create this custom background color in a document in InDesign. So of course, the first thing you have to do is to create a new document. You can do that by going up in file right here, press new and new document. Also use the keyboard shortcut control N and just press on this and choose the width and the height. Just press create right here. And we have now created a new document. Okay, so now it's actually time for us to create this background color. So to do that, we first want to go over to our tool panel right here. And we want to find the tool called rectangle tool. You can also use the keyboard shortcut M. You just press on this. And we have now selected the rectangle tool. And now we want to select this corner right here and just drag a box to the down right corner right here and let go. And as you can see, because we have a color selected, the color is now set to a black color. So if we just go over to our tool panel again and double click on this color right here, this color picker menu will pop up. In here, you just want to press on this H right here. Just check this on. And just from here, select whatever color you would like to be the background color. So I'll just be choosing this light blue right here. Let's say we want this to be our background color. From here, you would just want to press OK. And the color has now been made. So when we have created our rectangle tool with a color on, the next thing we want to do is to actually lock this layer so we don't accidentally move it or delete it. So you can do that by just right clicking on the element and choose lock right here. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut control L. And as you can see, our background color is now locked and we cannot edit it or move it. And now we actually have this background color, so we can now start to add some text. Just select the type tool right here. Let's just fill it with some placeholder text right here. We can just make this a white color, just like this. And as you can see, this rectangle box we have created now works as a background color. And if you want this background color on multiple pages, let's say we have a document with, let's say, 10 pages, we can always just take this and create a copy of this and the background color is also on the new page right here. But let's say we have a lot of pages and we don't want to copy the first page right here. We can also use the master pages. But before we do that, let's say we actually want to change the color of the background color or we want to remove it. To do that, we first want to unlock it and we can do that by holding Ctrl Alt L on our keyboard. And as you can see, it is now selected again, and it, it isn't locked. And we can now go over right here and choose another color. And as I said before, if we have multiple pages and we want this background color on all of our pages, we can just take this color we have just made, pressing Ctrl X on our keyboard, go up to our master pages right here, just take a copy of this. And, and when we go down to our first page, we can now see that the background color is this blue one we have created on the master page. So if we create new pages, we can see that it has automatically this background color on. And if you want to change the color again, you can always go up to the master page again, select the colored box we have created, change the color. And if you go down to your pages again, the background color has automatically been changed. So yeah, that is actually how to change the background color in InDesign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.